people have been on hold. So we got Juanita? Yes. How you doing? How are you? I'm doing pretty good. I was, I was just tuning in to you guys because I always watch the station. And um, I, I listen to you. I listen to your conversations. And I think they're very intellectual. Inter, inter, you know, I think they're on a, a higher level than some people's learning and that some people's understanding. And I, understand, I, respect, your, I respect you as an atheist and your experiences. And and I, and I'm and and I and there's people that say that they're Christians and then they'll cuss you out. You know they'll say one thing about God and then the next thing you make them angry and they'll cuss you out. And so, but they'll still call themselves a Christian. But mine is totally different from that. Mine okay. is a realm that well, when I can I, I was just going to say thanks, but go ahead. Mine is a totally different experience. You see, when I was born, and and I can't explain it. There's always been something that makes me feel, you know, like like I have morals. Like if I do something wrong, it would be like my mother's disciplining me, but she's not there. And I, I, I mean, I, I tried to explain to my brother, and he's an, he was an atheist, and he just passed away on the 25th. And I'm I sorry never, to hear that. that's okay. I never tried my, I never tried to infringe on him, and he respected mine. And we never argued about it because we, I, I. I, I embraced his, and he understood mine. And we never fought about it because I felt like the more uh, I tried to explain it, the more we're going to get a heated conversation. So I just had to live what I felt. And it, this feeling that I have, I'm going to tell you, sometimes in the middle of the night, and, and, and some people call it a sixth sense, but I, and I was so scared to say it because people say, oh, you're bipolar, or you're schizophrenic, or you're this, or you're that. And, and, and once I come into the reality of who I am as a person now, it's a total different experience to me as it is to you. And I, I'm, I'm respecting what you're saying on, te on television as an atheist and because and, it makes me wonder, and I have, I have thought that where do we actually come from? But that, to me, is so high up at, 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 at thinking. Because I'm just at, at the basics in regards to, I know that he talks to me. I know that something talks to me. I know that something guides me. And I know that something makes me aware that, you know. Can, can, I, I, can I ask, just so that I understand what you're talking about, um, when you say he talks to you, um, do you mean you actually hear a voice or you feel impressions of I, what you think I God wants? I feel impressions. Okay. I feel impressions. And, I, and, I'd say actually... Mm -hmm. um, I, I don't see anything particularly abnormal about most of what you said. I mean, I, and see, you, and that's you probably, what my brother felt also. You probably don't don't realize this having not watched the show for a lot, but both of us were Christians for a great many years. And I, 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 but you know what? I did. I listened to you, and I became more understanding and more Good. knowledgeable because I, I I didn't want to argue. I just wanted to understand, yeah. and even that's what I wanted to do. I wanted to understand with my brother the way he was feeling, and I, but I also want him to respect the way I felt, and that's how we were able to come together. And my experience was that I felt, and I, I, can't, I can't prove it, but I, I watched my brother pass away on the 25th, and it was such a beautiful experience because as he passed away from cancer, I don't think that the cancer killed him, but I believe that he was ready, it was, that he was ready to go. And when he got ready to go, he explained the realm that only I, as a child, was thought that I was like, oh, my God, I, what are you talking about? They're going to call you crazy. They're going to call you schizophrenic. They're going to call you better not say that. You know, they're going to dope you up with some, you know, some drugs. And, and what happened was it confirmed to me of my belief and my experience. And so, therefore, there's nothing, and I, please don't get me wrong when I say this, there's nothing that you can say to doubt me now because I had that experience. And there's probably nothing I can tell you to make you feel different about your experience. But I'm telling I respect yours. Well, I don't know. You could give us evidence. I mean, I, 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 I don't mean to, to, to you know, be short with that, but it's I, not like mean? it's not like my mind's closed. I'd never reject good evidence for something. No, that's you are so. I listen to you. Your conversation is so intellectual. And, I mean, excuse me. I'm, I'm not. I mean, you know, I'm, I'm educated, but to the to the evolution and different things like that. That's such a higher calling to me. I mean, a higher level. Because mine was just, I'm, I'm telling you, it's not the manifestation that I've seen. It's the spirit realm that I felt. I've even ha actually had people communicate with me and say a word that somebody else could never understand. And, and, I, and I say that to that person, and their face changes like, how did you know? And I would be so scared to say that 
You know, at first I was because I didn't know how people would, would, would I thought that they would call me, you know, I was so uh, fearful of the word bipolar, fearful of the word of schizophrenia, fearful of those, those words that if you go to a doctor or you go to a, 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 a psychiatrist and you tell them these experiences, the first thing they want to do is put it up on a title. So I didn't do that, but I, I and I can see that I can, I don't want to make you feel uncomfortable or anything. I'm, but I, I'm not uncomfortable. I just, I just really I mean, enjoy what you're talking about. I enjoy it because you're telling me from your experience. Right. Okay. I, well, we, in that case, I appreciate the call and we hope you keep watching and maybe I, we'll I, say I, something. I, that, I just want people, I, I'm sorry. That's all right. No, that's fine. I, I just, I just want people to understand that the difference, the, the difference between you and me is nothing. Is that you have an experience and I have an experience and it's, and, and, I, I was kind of getting angry at first because you were with the call and y'all was getting on this different evolutional, different, and I, but I was feeling you and I was understanding you. But mine is totally that it's a, it's a, to me, it's, it's something that I know because it, it's been with me ever since I was who I was. Okay. Okay. And I thank you so much because you really did enlighten me for today and you gave me hope. And I know, I feel my brother, I feel his presence. And even though he has his experience as an atheist, I have mine as a Christian. So thank you. Okay. Sure. Well, thanks, Juanita. Uh, any comments on that one before we go on to the next one? The only comment that I would have on that, and, you know, I, I appreciate Juanita's call. And I appreciate her wanting to, you know, just say, hey, I'm just trying to understand. And that's something that, you know, I think is helpful. Um, the one thing I would put out to the information on that is to always remember that even though an experience might be real, does not necessarily validate the interpretation of the experience. Right. So while I would never doubt anyone's experience, well, as long as, you know, like, like along the lines of what Juanita's describing, I wouldn't doubt that. But I would caution that with, sometimes with more information comes a different interpretation of data. Yeah, and at the end when, when she said, you know, there's really not, the difference between us is nothing. Right. I'd say that that, if there is a significant difference, um, I'd say that that's it. Um, I'm not going to, if somebody comes to me and says, I believe in God, and it's all because of things that I've experienced, there's absolutely nothing I can say. I haven't had their experiences, um, and until I do, I can't possibly judge them. And I couldn't even know that I had the same experiences if I did, because we're different people. Um, so you can't argue against that. And if your belief is because God talks to you, or you've had an experience that you are completely convinced is God, um, there is no argument against that. That's not, that has nothing to do with uh, reality or uh, reason or evidence or anything else. It's a personal thing. And it's like we, we tend to rely on our But our it is an interpretation. Like and interpretations that's, can change. That's the critical you know, part. I might, I might interpret my spouse as being a loving, faithful husband. And then I find a receipt from a hotel room that wasn't where he was supposed to be this weekend. We and suddenly, to... suddenly my interpretation... Changes yeah. because I got different information or more information on it that made me stop and reconsider how I was interpreting this previously, and that's that's all I'm saying. When when someone says, you know, hey, I don't I don't have this type of information, and I might not have all the information you have, but I have this experience. My point would be, go get some more information and see what the experience means. The more you learn, because um, it can it can morph. Well, we're running short on time, and we've got callers. I'm gonna get to you right in just a second. I promise. As a reminder, uh, we're going to dinner after the show, uh, Thread Gills on Riverside. The address will be up on the screen in just a moment. Uh, the show's over here in about eight minutes or, or so, and we'll be down there around 5 o'clock. Any atheist or atheist-friendly person is welcome to join us, and that goes for all of our regular events, including the happy hour that I forgot to announce, uh, partly because I forgot to go. Uh, but that's every Thursday at the Dog and Duck Pub at 17th and Guadalupe. Uh, Guadalupe. Uh, that's up on your screen now. And as a reminder, next week, everything changes. We're moving to channel 16. We're moving to 4.30 to 6. If you've enjoyed watching the show, or maybe if you just get some masochistic pleasure out of watching people who you despise, we're going to move. And we'd like you to go ahead and follow us, too. Channel 16, 4.30 to 6 p.m. Come starting down. next week. Come on over. <laughs> Uh, whether you're calling to argue or tell us why you disagree. Or, or talk about ID. 